Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be solving the palindrome number problem on lead code or number 9 and today we're going to be doing it in C++. Palindromes are fascinating numerical patterns and we'll dive into the code step by step to understand each approach. We'll explain the logic behind every line, explore edge cases, and showcase how to optimize our solution. Now before we get into the code, if you guys want to see more videos like this, drop a like down below. It helps us out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. With that out of the way, let's hop right into it. Alright, so we're given a class named solution that contains a method named isPoundrome. The goal of this function is to determine whether the given integer x is a palindrome or not. We start by checking if the number x is negative. If it is, we return false right away as negative numbers cannot be palindromes. Next, we declare two numbers, two variables of type long long reversed and tap. We use long long to prevent potential overflow issues in case the input integer is too large. The while loop allows us to reverse the integer x and store the result in reverse. The loop continues until temp becomes zero. Inside the loop, we extract the last digit of temp using the modulo operation temp percent temp and store it in the variable digit right here. To build the reversed integer, we multiply the current value of reversed by 10 and then add the digit we extracted. And finally, we remove the last digit from temp by dividing it by 10 using the temp divided by equals 10 right here. Once the loop finishes, we check if the reversed integer reversed is equal to the original integer x. If they are the same, we return true, indicating that x is a palindrome. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. All right, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed or found it helpful, drop a like down below, drop a comment if you have any questions, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you in the next one.